Well, I hope everybody had as good a Christmas as we did. The Junkyard Jet guys got me a replacement rocking chair, so now I can, you know, I can chill, and I can help them do their work from a comfortable old man type of position. Yeah. 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 So today we're going to put a piston in Rodney, and none of these guys have ever done this before, so I'm going to sit back here and just guide them through it. And before we do that, though, the boat was a success. We actually got the thing running in the water, made a little lap with it. It still needs some work, but it's a functional boat. So that's out of my life and out of, out of the shop and out of our hair for probably two or three months. Let the winter pass, and then we'll go back to that thing and, and finish up its odds and ends. Uh, but you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. So who's going to do the major... <clears throat> I guess me. You're, it's your baby. It's me. Yeah. You're, it's you've nice. always got to be the center of everything, <laughs> don't you? He's I, I going to turn on you eventually. I picked the engine. You did pick the engine, so I guess you should be <laughs> stuck in the first piston. Yeah. All right, but it's going to be a team effort. We're all yeah. going to work on this. So you guys have never done this before? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with number one. Yeah. So now you've already pre-gamed this. Yeah. You've put the rings on the piston. Yeah. And you followed the manufacturers. Yeah. What exactly did you do? Actually, Garrett did it. Garrett did it. Yeah. What? So we followed the instructions, and we put the rings exactly the way they're supposed to be. Following. Dot facing up. Huh? Dot facing up. Dot facing up. All okay. markings that indicated up going up. And you're positive that the top ring is in the top ring groove, yes. and the second ring. Positive. Is. Okay. Yeah. Put they're my life on it. Okay. So yeah, and we did all of them and preset them. Okay. So you, now you, you, you stagger them, mm. but actually that's like a myth, okay? Because you, you're supposed to put them together with the gaps staggered from each other, but as soon as you start this motor, they move around and dance around and do all kinds of things. So, But, you know, it, it's, it's a good, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just, it's just good practice, but it doesn't really mean anything. All right, so do we have our number one piston? Yeah, right here. All right. So now we've got the rings on the piston. Mm -hmm. The first thing we want to do is put the bearings in the caps. Okay. Okay, we'll do the shells in the, in the rod and the cap. All right. Yeah. Come, around, come around this way. So. Okay. So pop the cap off. Now you'll notice on this rod, on this on small block boat parts, there's no top end oiling hole on these. A lot of engines on the, on the, on the rod end of the bearing will have a hole here, but on the big on the small block Chrysler, there is none. So it doesn't matter which shell you put up or you know which way it goes. Uh, but on just take note if you're putting together an engine that has an oil hole in the rod, that there's going to be a corresponding oil hole in the in the uh, bearing shell. Okay. All right. So first things first. Put put one of the shells in the cap. Go in easy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, before you put that shell in, you're going to take that shell and you're going to put it against your chest like this with two fingers. Okay. Okay. And you're going to spread it apart gently, not crazy, just gently. Okay. Now stick it in there. Now, the reason you do that is because as you're driving the piston in, you don't want that shell to fall out. Right. So that's why you give it just a little out. tiny bit of spread so it grabs onto the shell. You're not damaging it any, and, it, and as it gets tight, gets <coughs> tightened together, it, or any distortion that you put in there is going to go away. But you do that sort of as, as you're knocking it in, tension. right, it yeah. doesn't fall out. Okay, put the piston and rod down over there. Okay. Right. Now, rotate the crankshaft so that the number one journal is at the bottom. Say what? We're coming up. Oh, it's at the bottom. It's yeah. at the bottom? Yeah. It was. Right. It just wasn't centered. I'll take a clean paper towel and some of that PB blaster. All right. Okay. Spritz down that journal. All right. And wipe it. Wipe it good. And now from this point forward, try not to touch it. All right, now. That's shiny. 
grab your piston rod assembly. Now, these are obviously directional. They have piston loops, mm -hmm. valve loops. All right. The tangs, let me, show, let me show you this side. And you see, there's an oil hole here, mm -hmm. and there's the tang here. Okay. The tang faces to the outside. Okay. All right, so here's the number one hole. That tang is going to face to the outside. Perfect. So Okay, so it goes like that. Yes. I take the compressor. Right. Now you can also look and see that there's a chamfer. If you look at the bottom of the rod, you'll see that one side of it is flat, and the other side is chamfered slightly. But that's, that's the important thing, though. These, these tangs go to the outside, because that hole right there is to spray oil across okay. at the other pistol. Yeah. You know, it's corresponding. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what I usually do with these is now um, set this up. Set this up like so. Now, take your piston ring compressor. Okay. It goes on like that. Yeah. Flip around it. All right. Now, you have the uh, ratchet. Yeah, I tightened it up. Okay. Now, just get it so that it's just barely hitting the rings. Good. Go, 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 go. Okay, right there. Stop, stop. Okay, well, it's still loose. See, yeah. it's, it's loose. Now, take your PB blaster or whatever lubricant you're going to use, but we're just using PB here, and give that a good, healthy squirt. There you go. Okay. Now, finish snugging that up. That's, that's, that's good. All right. Now lower, lower it so that the skirts fit into the bore. All right. No. Uh, okay. Hang on now. Okay. Now you see your old caddy wampus here. Oh yeah. All right. Now take your hammer. Okay. Right. And tap that down. Well, I usually use the side. I'll use the side. Okay. I'll use the side. Okay. Go all the way around now and make sure that that's all the way around and make sure that it's sitting flush on the block. It's not, it's hollowed, held up right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, you, you're going to get all kinds of people that are going to say, oh, you got to put, you got to put hose over the rod bolts so that they don't scratch up the crank. You don't have to do that, right? Here's what you do. You're going to take one hand underneath and you're going to, here's how, here's how I do this, mm -hmm. okay? Put the back of your fingers against the journal, okay? And then grab the rod bolt with your thumb. Okay. Go ahead. You got to come up on the other side? Yeah. Hey, you know what we forgot? We forgot something. You forgot to pre-lube the, the upper shell. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. This is fine. This isn't going to change. Give this a oh, nice, a healthy... Lube. And that's another reason, this is another reason why you want to always spread the top shell. That's too much. Okay. Right. You want to spread the shell because now if that shell was to fall out during the course of putting it in, now that pre-lube is going to pick up whatever gack is, yeah. right? Okay. So. All right. Now, like I said, you're going to block the, the rod or the journal with your fingers. Right. And now you're going to guide that down. Every time you tap this with the hammer, you're going to guide it in place. Yeah, down onto the crank. Down onto the crank. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. a little harder. All right, now, just listen, listen. Make your, make your blows firm, right? Mm -hmm. And push it, you know, like in other words, like, oh, right? instead, don't yeah. go like this, go like this. Yeah, push it in. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good, perfect. 
Boom. All right, now watch. Like a pro, we do like that. There we go. Hang that out of your way. All right. Well, no, you're still going to need the yeah, the, need the, the you're still need the hammer. All right. Now, it's, yeah, you're perfectly clear. All right. Now, just shut. Now, just push. Don't don't bang it. Just push. Yeah. You got the you got the crank yeah, protected. She's, yeah, she's past it. Okay. All right. Now now you're going to have to give it look. Now you got to give it one like this, look up, bump, and you'll see that it's going to move down like another 20,000, 30,000 of an inch. See? There yeah. It uh, one more. One more. And you said you see the. She's solid. That's it. All right, now, roll this motor upside down. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Now put the cap on, make sure the tangs are facing the tangs, and then it'll be like I said, to the outside, so. Let's see the tangs, there's a tang right there. Right, right and there. this oil hole here is facing the other side. All right, now just give that up with the heel, with the heel of your palm, just give that a, okay. Now, Screw your nuts down. Finger tight. Okay, now just give them a snug with the wrench. Let's see. Oh, or wrench. I just all right, but we're not going to torque anything. I will explain that in a minute. Yeah, this is just the closest thing. That's okay. Uh, yeah, go side to side. Do it evenly. That's about even. Okay. Let me see. Sure. Okay, perfect. Now. A lot of people will be like, torque it. No, don't torque anything on the bottom end until it's all together. Seriously, you know for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because so you'll get distracted, phone will ring, somebody will walk in, whatever kind of craziness happens, and you'll say, oh, did I torque this? Oh, gee, I forgot. And it's usually after you've put the oil pan in, on in, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's all done. So, <laughs> so what I do is I assemble the entire bottom end, get it all together, get everything finger tight, okay? And then once it's all together, then run with your torque wrench through your mains first and then do your rods. Yeah. And then this way, no question that it's done. We got a piston. Any questions? No, that's pretty straightforward. Right, rotate it just to make sure. Wait, turn it back over. When I'm doing this, I like to, I like to keep everything wet, yeah. right? Wet. So give that a, give that a good spray. Okay, now rotate the motor over a few times, make sure that it's all. There you go, white butter. That's horsepower. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> we know if it fails, it'll blind. So. so, seven more times and you got it. You think you think you got it now? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, getting done. <coughs> She's getting done today. All right, well, I'm gonna go do something Less entertaining than this. <laughs> Sit in your chair. <laughs> Sit in my chair. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you got something out of that. What are we doing next week? What are we doing next week? Good question. Oh, we should almost have a cam by then. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. We should have a cam hopefully by then, <clears throat> nice. and then this thing will go together, and the engine can begin in earnest. And then when New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. Yep. We're yeah. gonna get together New Year's Eve here. Yep. So we'll probably even do a live uh, New Year's Eve, you know, evening. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you got something out of that. I'll see you tomorrow.